We just want to say thank you. Bye. We just want to say thank you. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yo. Welcome back. One of my favorite songs at the moment, of course, that was Master Craft, you know, with Chick Hay. A big shout out to everybody that was in the background of I that love, video. I love, we I love, 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 love. That song. Of course, see that scrimmage. Move on. Can we move on? Yeah, we should. All right, let's get into the business of the day. And this one is on EME, Record Boss, Bankoli Wellington, popularly known as Banky W. As applied music producer, Sam Clegg's allegation that he took his name off as the composer of Whiskey's hit song, um, Pakuma Funke, Pakuma, why you the shot for all my year? Pakuma, 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 Kocho Kaka. Okay. I love that yes, song. and then this is John <laughs> Banky W following his tell-all interview um, with Abel Carr, who had called out the label boss for ripping him off of um, his royalties for contributing to Whiskey's debut album. Recall that Whiskey re released two albums, Superstar and Ayo, under the EME Records, which Banky W had to do that is still in three. Should we go Whiskey up? Anyways, and um, under the EME Records before he left to Chase International, a claim. Did he chase it though? Anyway, similarly, not in pride of Banky's claim, Sam Clef, who produced Whiskey's then it's on Pac Rumor of the Superstar album, said in a live Instagram session that Banky W had failed properly to compensate to properly compensate him for his input on the eight song. And Sam Clef mentioned Banky W's handle in the caption on the image and urged him to reach out to him for clarity. In response to the allegations, the EME, EME boss came to the um, comment section of the post way asked the music producer to direct his grievances to the proper channel. Banky, who also distanced himself from the control of the song's proceeds, cautioned Sam Clef to desist from um, peddling his name in the public. <coughs> <coughs> Starting from the... I love when people clear their truth. <laughs> Talk the... I don't have anything, so if I, don't put me on the spot. All right, so for me, Starting right. from the interview with Ibuka to Whiskey's law that broke the internet, literally. I mean, how does one type L-O-L -L and... Love of our life. Now. And it's trending. Not laughing. It's laughing love, out loud. Love of our life. Funky love of life. Love of Lord our... Of Lords. Lo <laughs> <laughs> lol could mean so yeah. many things so lol, you can lol. imagine i wrote it in capital letter like lol really that kind of well, lol really. just tweets <laughs> a spaceship and it goes by uh, i'm telling you they say we do find the machala so. power that's just it but let's, let's let's talk about this though um for me right what i need to admire is um stamp clefs you know awareness of what the industry should be or what it deserves and it goes for it you know a lot of producers a lot of um, you know composers will go with the fact that they were part of a song that is a hit record right and they never pursue it but this guy is talking about the law now and which is why it was so important for banky w if you had you know trivialized it right banky w probably wouldn't respond do you get what I mean? But he's talking about, there's a guy in the, even showed a screenshot of how they said they were going to share with the money with him. Yeah, you know, there was a royalty yeah. screenshot where he shared, and he said it was supposed to be 50-50. And then they replaced it with a Michael Stevens. And Banky W denied knowing a Michael Stevens that Whiskey personally, you know, shared the but, um, but, um, Sam royalty said, shit. He said, um, or from the video I saw, he said that Banky told whiskey in his front like in his presence sampler's presence to take him off the, um, the album take him off the track and mm. everything so i don't know this is not the you know we can't go by verbal claims now what do we have on the sheet so if banky w said it we need whiskey to come out and say well banky i mean if you people are waiting I, you should know by now that if you are waiting for whiskey to come and maybe this time to be lmu yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave out. Leave no, out. no, if people are waiting for whiskey, yeah. I mean, such faith. I want well, to have such faith. For I, I, I want to have such faith one day because I, I would, I do not expect whiskey to actually really give credence to this um whole rockers except maybe in an exclusive interview, he might just chip in one or two. But we already know mm -hmm. whiskey to not speak on things that are actually but, about but, him. But, but do you think, like, personally, about Sam Clare's friend, right? 
I would advise them to pursue this. It could take years, especially when we know the legal system in Nigeria. It could take a lot of years, but at the end of the day, it will be worth it because, come on, man, Pakuma is making a lot of I'm money. You, you making a lot of money. So much. having royalties for as way back as 11 years, I'll wait for five years, years to get it. 11 whole years. I've waited 11 Talking years, so why would I wait for another five years to get right. my legal it's team not together? Even putting right. my life on a stand still Do you understand? I'm still going to be doing thing. my thing, yeah. but I want to pursue this. Can I get my 11 years reality and going forward can i keep getting it monthly do you know how much sam clef will be making even if right. it's five thousand dollars on a monthly right. basis I, I, feel, I, I, want to, I want to believe that this story is going to play out the more we are going to get more reactions although i'm not expecting reactions <coughs> i feel like it's, we're going to have arbitration coming to play you know they're going to settle out of court they're going to sit say down they are good, okay, we have given sam clef uh, we have are faced good. sam clef 50 million what is 50 well, million there industry but what is 50 movie, million naira? give it to me and you know what it is for 11 years royalty. okay you are talking of to sam clef all right mm, they'll give him 50 20 cents and they, 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 they'll they'll sam clef no collect. say yeah that they are giving i just feel no they'll it's say, just but it's a normal way it's a normal way guys, collect this 15 with the only 35. okay the next five years will come back to this particular they'll come back issue. they only right. gave me 15 million naira and the <laughs> remaining 35,000 whiskey does not give him they will now go back but can we say things true in this part of the world can we actually you know complete i think it? one thing you have to put into um cognizance is the fact that when things are very difficult we, we tend to settle for whatever we can get it's it's, it's a norm it's in, love. yeah you know for me it's a norm in nigeria we just tend to settle i mean if dragging it into um the political um reign or arena you see when we are while we're struggling so hard to make sure that we get someone better we settle for the next place because of how difficult things get so i feel he's settling for it doesn't mean that he doesn't want his full thing but probably the the view of it to take ages to get and mm -hmm. i mean let me just make do with this one after all Especially if if, if we didn't have this interview, if we didn't, if um bank didn't have this interview i probably would not have spoken about it so let me just say this one and move ahead and so why didn't sam clef speak up all, speak up all along why he didn't speak up all along why was he after the probably he was waiting Do you know i feel like sam because he needed, he needed he needed he needed an avenue maybe he had come to terms with it let, let me not say come to terms with it but he has an that okay probably they've ripped me off but not hearing hearing, <laughs> hearing banky in that interview just probably sparked up a lot of things in him Emotion, and he's like no yeah. the world needs to know that mm. this is not what it is and everything i wish they'll just probably make a comment or something put out a statement there so let's know who we are believing and of course with hard facts because words of the mouth we can only take it mm -hmm. for that Alrighty, man. I hope Sam Clive sees this one true, you know, and eventually, you know, gets what he Justice deserves. Justice for Sam Clive. Justice for Sam Clive. <laughs> no go collect 50 million. No value. <laughs> no big, Calm down. Win this one. Anyway, let's move on to the next story, which is on Linda Ikeji. What has come to debunk the claims that she wrote that Caroline Danjima's daughter is not for her husband? Danjima has slammed the blogger for writing the meaning articles about her family, especially now we're talking about the series um real, real housewives, housewives of lagos you know where there was a big fight between caroline danjima and, and laura, laura ikg where she she accused laura of breaking her family yeah, by the things sitting, they sitting wrote yeah all right so in a lengthy post share the popular blogger denied danjima's claims in the 16 years of she wrote in the 16 years of blogging linda ikg blog never ever wrote that Caroline Danjima's daughter is not for her husband. Not only didn't Linda Ikeji blog write this, no other blog in Nigeria or beyond wrote this. The blog explained. The blogger also alleged that the story Danjima has been spreading was fabricated. But why though? If it really was fabricated, there's a, why? There's a time when you want to blame others apart from yourself. No, this, this is, we're not talking about words of the mouth I get there. Now. Do you get there? No, now, I, I do not think you will get to this point if it's actually a Fabricated. lie. Yeah. We are talking about something that we can believe. actually get proof on. Mm -hmm. the net for, you, you get, this is something yeah, that when I, when I Google it, I'm expected to see pop up and something. And then did I, you, and did I, you find anything? No, I didn't see anything. Do you get so what I mean? Like, it, it gives credence to what Linda is saying. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure probably, you, of course, you can take off things from the internet permanently. But I feel if she, if it was something that was 
um, spread by Linda, other blogs would have picked it up definitely. If we didn't see it on Linda's um, blog, would have and seen it on other blogs. Somewhere, so somewhere. I do not. It, it then begs the question: like, why would Caroline do something like that? Well, no such thing as bad publicity. Now let's look at it from. Okay, so now I want to play. We are the same people that say I do not bring children into I'm situations like this. I'm to get controversial. This, the, the child is the sense of attraction here. Can, uh, can I get a bit controversial and play? I'll try to be controversial and also play the devil's advocate, right? Yeah. So, for me, the three of them, they have things to win from this moment. Now, the real housewives in Lagos, in as much as they want to make it look like a reality show, can you not see scripting? Let's be real. Young, famous, and African, could you not see scripting? Do you get what I mean? Like I mean, they say most of all the uh, reality TV shows actually scripted. Because it's never scripted. Not to an extent. They just give you tasks and you fall off it. So they are doing mental scripting. Now, I know this because I have someone who works there. Do you understand? And it's very strange because if not, I should have been a big brother as well. Do you understand? But I can't get in there because they have a level of praise. Me, I stand for big brother. People say people bring their candidates. I should have yeah. been a candidate a long time ago. Do you understand? But aside that, I feel like that's the only thing that isn't really, really scripted. And Nigeria and I do, Nigeria and I do, uh, Project Fame, all those other reality shows, right? They're not scripted. Now you can yeah. tell. Are you gonna script what I'm gonna sing? Right. I do mean, you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, so can, you can only try. But in this ones, I saw a level. And look, we're not gonna act and sit around and act like Linda Ikej is not falling off from the blogging space. Linda Ikej is not my first go-to anymore. If there was a time where Linda Ikeji is my first go-to. But right now, this is bringing credibility. This is coming from, I'm a credible source. It never came. That's why no other body yeah. picked it. That's why, do you get, I'm still the boss. If I had done it, somebody else would have. Yeah, Laura Ikeji owns a fashion brand. She owns a makeup brand. She owns so many businesses. She stands a lot to get. Caroline Danjuma is a retired actress who is now trying to push like she's an engineer. She's selling property. She's doing all of that. All of this is good for the three of them. How and do they say it's bad publicity? It's there's no such publicity. thing as bad publicity. Right. And then we need to always remember that this is show biz. Now, the B stands for business. Show business. But really, though, in all of everything, why, if it's scripted and you have to follow a particular script, so does that mean that every time you are allowed to make, like, to just make a mess of yourself because we, you are talking about even if it was scripted at least there should be a hint of facts in there but from the statement that linda released there is mm -hmm. no single fact and if you watched the video when um caroline was oh, having her out really but you'd, you'd have seen that it was just as if she was really 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 so pained as if something really really happened so i do not know why okay, why go that so extent for something what, that is not true okay so one thing i also know is that these bloggers before they release things about you they dm you do you understand so there could have been a dm i'm telling you i'm gonna um i just found out that your daughter or your, so your child what, what, what do you have to say about yeah, what it do you have when, to you, say? when you don't and speak then when about you don't, it that's when they release it so in our mind she's like i'm not checking that page i don't care that she release it that she do it so it could have been a moment in her life where she felt broken do you understand like i just feel like there's more to the, to story, the story than we can comprehend it's just so unfathomable unbelievable that there is no single speck of it on the internet and then caroline just comes out and she begins to spew everything it's no, it doesn't it's, i can't there's speculation it there's speculations about it on the internet but it isn't from a proper reliable source so, so far anyways um, let's move on to the next story and this one is on nigerian rapper jj's skills ex-partner mela who has revealed the reason and act he attacked their son benito she wrote benito and other children brought some alcohol into school bad habits it was wrong but it didn't it didn't deserve to be beaten like that no child does this is your child that you fail to protect my child that i entrusted to you the child who yesterday was accepted into drama college by audition only but won't post it out for fear of once again being sabotaged the child who was made who has made mistakes like all teenagers but has loved you unconditionally has had to face an army of abuse trolls harassment 
bullying and defamation and yet silence from you and your camp no defense no acknowledgement um nothing but you cannot break your spirit to us our bond is too strong we will leave the authorities to do their job your greatest loss is your son by your own hands let us all heal and leave us in peace yes, let us all heal and leave us in peace what's your thinking there um I don't know. Like you said, you know the last time we talked about it, you were like, it's probably based on the um, non-Nigerian um, situation or setting because if we are in, if we are talking about in Nigeria here and you take alcohol to school and at, my father... At 15 years old, this boy is probably like father, 18. Uh, and they said this thing happened five years ago. How old was he then when he took alcohol into school? catches or they report you to my dad that you did one thing or the other i mean my dad then would tell my dad was a teacher before he passed he was a principal so he would always tell other teachers because of course they used to know each other at my school mm. if elile messes up don't report her to me discipline her first before you even bring her to oh. me so you can imagine him being called someone that I mean right. your teacher's child so imagine. Double, double, <laughs> double. But but like we always say I think we should understand that there are more constructive ways of correcting mm -hmm. children besides violence. But at the same time you can't take away the human nature. We're talking of someone that probably was raised that way when you flop you you get the whip and everything. And in that situation, like you said, how old can that that child how old he was 13 and he was already taking alcohol to school mm, that is he wasn't just drinking or using alcohol uh, maybe it he was, was he was not just going to his parents cabinet to just take a sip or two he was actually carrying it to school so that is, it was dependent on it as a 13 come on like if i was a father i'll be vexed you know yeah of course i, I will be very but i probably wouldn't lay my hands on my child that way but which led to the question on the comment section where people were beginning to ask what exactly did you guys do to get expelled and this is nigeria for crying out loud we know how religious people are in nigeria, nigeria. we know how we try to keep a good faith in nigeria we try so hard not to be failed parents in nigeria do you get what i mean so already what would they say yeah, it's because he's the child of a musician. Yeah, it's because his father, his father is rich. Yeah, so there because is that his father is an actress. Yeah, Do you yeah. understand? So I will be so pissed. Like people already talk down on me every day. People already look at me like I'm irresponsible because of the type of life that I lead because of my profession. People already, you, the pressure. People have too. a lot of things to say about me, and you are giving them the leeway to say more. So, like me, my dad was not a pastor. But man, I knew better than not to disappoint him or get caught in certain acts. Do you understand what I mean? Like I tried my best, but of course we always, of course I. You you flop definitely mm, at some of point. You I actually. Up. <laughs> definitely you never flopped up hands in the air. <laughs> if they had not no hands. So definitely there are times where we are, we are children. We grow up and adults make mistakes. I make mistakes. You make mistakes. So it's only it's human nature. Then again, anger is human nature. So mm -hmm. it is then how you handle it that is just it. Well, like you said, that should be so, so, so. That's why I use my dad as a teacher. Imagine your fellow teacher coming to report your child that is supposed to be a model child, a model student, supposed to be of sterling behavior because I mean, my dad is a teacher. So wow. why should I be flopping like this? So imagine coming. I, I really would not fault my dad for his reactions. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, if he picks up a cane and begins to flog me, person? I don't even know if I would say made me a better person. He just, I think, I, 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 I grew up, I grew up disciplined. Quite, I just grew up Shame. to be disciplined. I'm pretty too. <laughs> Thank you. Don't stop it. I like it. <laughs> 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 anyways, anyways, it's been amazing having this conversation. We're back to Benito and his mother. I think, um, you know, you guys need to slow it. Now, we're beginning to release too much things that... But at the same time, do you know how this has this question? What is this revelation Okay, what's supposed the, yeah, to do? Like, I want to know the end game. Like, are we trying to get justice? Is this going to make it feel better? You know is what this going to reduce the trust? Those are the things that I need from his one mother thing she and said, One thing she said was that he got accepted into drama school. Congratulations to him, by the way. Just yeah, by that's, that's audition. Just by audition. audition. Yeah. So, that is just basically by merits and you said he was afraid to put it out there for fear of being sabotaged but you are putting it out there 
in less than 24 hours you said he got it yesterday that's a date when she put out the post and mm -hmm. you are saying he was afraid to put it out there well look at you putting it out there so if someone wants to sabotage it why wouldn't they sabotage it still now that you're putting it out so there. i feel sometimes we want to and lash out want to exp exactly can you just actually take a chill pill and allow things cool over sometimes i feel we should not give credence to some things we should not always have comments to make you might have a lot of things to say but i feel you mustn't always say those things that you actually sure. want to say because sure. sometimes you just actually more those things the more instead of making them better Alrighty, man. I think Elili has said it to my guy, CN. Wisdom. <laughs> too yeah, much. Why? Too much. Yeah, too much. Yeah, too much. <laughs> I hope you are Don't getting leave me. Down. Don't leave me. <laughs> my God. Anyways, yes, this is where we say we got to go. Of course, it's a beautiful Monday. It's the beginning of the week. I hope you have a blissful one. I hope you have a very successful one as well. And thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. And of course, you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And we catch up on all our previous episodes including this very one and all our exclusive content just by doing well clicking that bell on your youtube channel our plus tv africa lifestyle you know just click that red bell and just put down yeah that one and of course <laughs> yes you know you can also watch it time on out tv and of course in london on pen television we are big are big are big <laughs> uh, yeah star time channel 308 a uh, big big thank you goes out to my guy my homie you know the one who never leaves me Ellie Lee. <laughs> you know, for always holding me down, the entire production team, Sheyi, Funke, Debola, all of you in there, you know, big shout out to you guys. Thank I couldn't you. have done this without you. And of course, this is Plus TV Africa's Twitter. My name is Ifeolua Oshike. Let go.